London is marking a somber 10th anniversary. Four suicide bombers, British Muslims, radicalized by al-Qaeda, struck the city's transport system. 52 people were killed. Hundreds more were injured. CCTV's Jim Spellman joins us from our newsroom. And Jim, how are the victims being remembered? Uh, Mike, the theme of the day seemed to be resilience as Britain paused to remember the pain of that day a decade ago while vowing to never be conquered by terrorism. In London's Hyde Park, a minute of silence. In memory of all those who lost their lives on the 7th of July. As the United Kingdom pauses to reflect on the terrorist attacks 10 years ago that left 52 dead and more than 700 injured after four Al-Qaeda-linked suicide bombers detonated bombs on three trains and a bus. Prince William laid flowers at a memorial to the victims as survivors remembered that day. I didn't quite understand what was happening. Someone mentioned the word bomb, but that couldn't be true, could it? I managed to hold in my tears and act like the adult I was pretending to be. While families of victims spoke of the struggle to move on. The way that me and my family have tried to deal with it is to relinquish the need to cling on to any negative feelings. At St. Paul's Cathedral, the names of those killed were read aloud. Adrian Johnson. Helen Catherine Jones. And flower petals fell from the ceiling in their honor. Well, 10 years on, this is one of those days where everybody remembers exactly where they were when they heard the news. And it's a day when we recall the incredible resolve and resolution of Londoners in the United Kingdom, a day when we remember the threat that we still face. Uh, indeed, that threat of terrorism has not gone away, but has perhaps shifted. Uh, over the last few years, concerns over al-Qaeda have been overshadowed by the Islamic State and self-radicalized lone wolves in the UK and, Mike, around the world as well. Jim, the feeling's so raw for those families still these years later. Uh, what of everyday uh, Londoners? Tell us about them. How do they go about marking this day? Well, people today, uh, people Tuesday, were urged to get off the tube or the bus one stop early and finish their journey on foot with their fellow Londoners to show solidarity. People used the hashtag walk together to post pictures of themselves on their walks. That was really the message that together people can keep moving forward past these episodes while never forgetting the pain and the heroism of the people who responded when they were needed, Mike. Jim Spellman from our newsroom, thank you.